Hi, this is Pharaoh's Visor of DSDatabase.org, and today we are doing another video flashcard review, and this time it is the Easy Flash 5i cartridge. Now, you'll find that if you've read my review or Shadow Hunter's review, or even just general comments on the net for people who actually have this cart, that this cart deserves a lot of attention, but it just isn't getting any. I hope this review will change it, but the fact is, this is massively underrated. It is a great flash cart that is comparable to most of the other carts. It's roughly $14, so it's considered a budget cart because it's only a few dollars more, like two or three dollars more than the Ace card. On the other hand, it is touting the most advanced features out there. Real-time guide, real-time save. Don't worry if you have no clue what those are, I will go through it later in the video. Now, one of the egging complaints I had in my review is the skin they shipped out with, but since then, they've designed a new default skin, and I don't know why it took them so long or however many emails they got, but this skin is much better. So, going through the advantages of having an easy flash, if you're looking for something like an R4 or Ace card where you just want to get to a game fast and you don't care about the features, the Easy Flash can do that. I will. I think one of the biggest pluses is that it has this type of menu where you get the icon and the name, and there are so many in the list, and it scrolls really quite fast. Going up and down, you'll see that here it's very responsive, so when you stop, it stops. It doesn't have that sort of 0.25 second delay that some other carts have, but also you can skip by going left and right and you'll go through your menu in seconds. This is a fully loaded 8 gig micro SD and it just went through that in like 3 seconds flat. Again, it's responsive, so let's say I want to go to Pokemon, I have complete control. I guess that wasn't a very good demonstration, I don't know my list very well, but I have, I can go up and down very easily and boot a game extremely fast. There's no loading menu, nothing. There, there was a small bar at the bottom. Now, going back to a DSi menu, you'll find that the icon right now is tech. The Easy Flash team was one of the first teams to actually put out a fix. So chances are in the future if there's an update for the DSi and it stops all the carts from working, the Easy Flash 5i is perhaps one of one of the better bets you're likely to get support from the team as soon as possible. Anyways, booting back up. I found it odd that the team decided to put put two separate loading menus. It makes it seem a lot longer than it really is. I mean, for right then, I thought the load time was pretty bad, but if you compare the speed to the Ace card, it is practically the same. So don't judge it because it has two loading menus. Going back to the skin, You'll see that they have a wide variety of buttons. Obviously, this would be to start the game, go up and down the list of games on the top screen. I don't like how the Easy Flash team did this. They, You can't hold the button and have it scroll down fast. You have to tap it repeatedly, and it makes it practically useless. Moving on, you'll see that, oh, that button boots up Moonshell, so you immediately have access to your music or pictures or whatever. That 
wasn't exactly what I wanted to do, but yeah. You'll see in my review that I use uh, my own skin, so I'm sorry if I'm not used to these buttons. Moving along, this is the brightness button, so if you have a DS Lite, you can change your brightness by clicking this. I'm not even sure what this does. Oh, I guess that's just a label. Anyways, um, there's the game settings. So soft reset, on and off, real time save, on and off, game guide, which is real time guide, on and off, download play, cheats, open a separate menu, and, oh, you'll see that there are some things that are cut off. Go to Misty Bloom Cave in any we don't know what that says anymore. So that is a complaint I have with the system. Aside from that, very simple to use. There's a system settings so you can change your language. If you have a Easy Flash 3M1, you can change a rumble strength or how you use your Game Boy Advance modes. And basically there's not a whole lot of system settings. I thought I might show you guys the skin that I worked on. So this is a Spice and Wolf skin. I really recommend trying out the software the Easy Flash team put out for skinning because it is one of the best I used. It is simple yet very customizable. I did the skin in 10-20 minutes. Just drag pictures off the internet and load it down. You'll see that I removed some buttons and the clock because I they got in the way, so yeah. Now moving on, I wanted to show you guys uh, the features I was talking about. So just I have a real-time guide for this. Legend of Zelda. So if you hold L, R, A, B, X, Y, so all the buttons, you can get the Easy Flash menu. Uh, for the most part, it shouldn't make that weird sound, but I know for this one, it does. And you get the walkthrough. One of the things about the Easy Flash menu is that Easy Flash uh, Real Time Guide is that you have to use a computer software to do this. So it doesn't accept raw text files. But the good news is it breaks lines like everyone else, but you can change it a little. Over here, if you want to change it so that it just cuts it off instead of breaks it, then you can do that. Or if you wanted to break it, that's okay. Uh, over here, you'll see that I changed the font so that it fit the screen. And it even supports pictures. Now you can make this black and white so that it loads a little faster. I, I'm just gonna turn off the volume. You can make it black and white so that it loads faster, but you can see that the load time is practically zero anyways, so. I didn't really see a point. Now going back to a game and resetting to a menu. This is just wonderful that they can put this all into one menu. It beats memorizing a whole load of different hotkey combos. Anyways, lastly, I wanted to talk about real-time save. I'm going to run out of time here, but I'm just going to describe it. It takes a long time to save, but it has no load time. So if you want low to save, it takes no time. That is very different from the competitors who have load times on both ends, but shorter. Anyways, that's the Easy Flash 5i. I hope you enjoyed my review. Thank you.